This video introduces you to the PowerPoint 2010 screen. Uh, as you look at the screen, you'll notice a lot of similarities between the PowerPoint and the Word and Excel programs. So you have your quick access bar up here at the top, your title bar across the top of the screen telling the name of the file and the name of the program. Once the file's been saved, the Word's Presentation 1 will be replaced with, with whatever name you decide to give to the file. And of course, your Minimize, Maximize, and Close buttons in the upper right-hand corner. Beginning in PowerPoint 2007, menus have been replaced by ribbons, so you have your Home, Insert, Design, Transitions, Ribbon, etc. In PowerPoint, you will spend the most of your time while creating the slides on the Home ribbon, but once you're actually creating the slideshow, you'll find that you'll move between many of these ribbons. Like other programs, you have a File tab directly to the left of the Home ribbon. In PowerPoint, the word File is actually orange, but you'll notice that the File tab itself is very similar to the File tabs in both the Word and Excel programs. Once you get down into the PowerPoint screen, you'll notice that when you open the, the PowerPoint program, you'll be in Normal View. In Normal View, your screen is split between a slide view on the left uh, and, and the, sl the slide miniature on the left and the full slide to the majority of the screen. In the uh, pane to the left, you can switch between the slides and outline view. We'll want to do that again once you've actually begun to type some text onto the slides. This vertical bar here separating the left pane from the main pane of the window can be changed in size. If you place your mouse on that vertical line, your mouse will change into a plus sign with arrows pointing to the left and right. By clicking and holding and dragging it to the right or to the left, you're actually able to increase or decrease the amount of space devoted to the left and right pane. Across the bottom of the screen, you'll notice an area where it says click to add notes. As the slides are created, you can actually create notes for your presentation in this area. Again, if you place your mouse on the horizontal line separating the notes pane at the bottom of the screen from the main pane, your mouse will change, this time into an arrows, a plus sign with arrows pointing up and down. By clicking and holding and dragging up, I actually am able to increase the amount of space devoted to the notes pane, decreasing the amount of space in the slide pane, or the main pane. Again, I can get on that horizontal line, click, hold, and drag back down in order to return it back to the, its original position. This is an overview of the PowerPoint screen.